Hi, Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. Now, we're here with Patricia, my guest viewer from Australia. She's going to continue sharing. Go on, Patricia. Thank you so much. Thank you again for letting me, um, you know, join in. Mm -hmm. And also uh, to give a little bit of advice, I'm, I'm 62, a grandmother, and I've seen a lot of the world, and mm -hmm. um, I've lived in America, and I've traveled around the world. So basically, I think one of the things I know for sure, the Bible says there's nothing new under the sun. That's right. And so, you know, the problems you have in America... They may not be the same as we have here in Australia, but when it comes to relationships, when it comes to the need of wanting someone in your life, then that becomes very familiar. Yes. And what happens is that we tend to want to change our lives for the better. That's right. One thing I would love to tell young people is this. Do not be in a hurry. Mm. Because when you run into something and you feel you need it, you will come undone. That's right. And one of the things that you can do is to pray and keep on praying. Right. Now, that might seem old-fashioned, and uh, that's the sort of thing your parents did or your grandparents did. But prayer is the most powerful tool on the planet. Prayer is the only thing that you have in your life that will set you on the right course. Yes. There is nothing else. Nothing. There is nothing else. And that relationship with Jesus if that doesn't come first in your life, then basically, you, you know, you're going out there in the dark and you're grabbing at things, anything, and you're not using caution. So you're playing Russian roulette. And you must not play Russian roulette with your life. That's right. That is very, very dangerous. Deadly, yes. Very dangerous. And so what I want to say right now is please be careful. Yes, please. Listen to the Holy Spirit. Yes, yes, yes. The, the Holy Spirit is there to guide you. Yes. And you will come undone. You might think you're in charge of your life, but if you don't put your life in the hands of Jesus Christ and allow the Holy Spirit to minister to you, you will, it is a definite, come undone if you are seeking to be quick in your relationship. Patricia, I have to add to what you're saying right here. I hope you're listening to what Patricia is saying, what both of these Patricias are saying. Listen, I was in a quick relationship. It only lasted from a month and a half to two months. I kept praying from beginning to end. I kept praying. I said, Lord, is this a relationship that's worth having? We went to an inner, an inner healing workshop at Al and Hattie Hollingsworth in Diamond Bar years ago. This is before my husband. And let me tell you, he sat there like a father and told us a fireside story of a woman who took an old, a poor old sick wounded snake in and nursed it to health fed it, clothed it, I mean, fed it, housed it, and loved it. Loved it deeply. She was so enamored by the snake, she lifted it up to give it a kiss. When she kissed it, it bit her. As she lay there dying, she said, I can't believe you did this to me. I clothed, I fed you, I housed you, I took you to the, to the veterinarian. I, 
I, I, I helped you. I nursed you back to health. How could you do this to me? And you know what the snake's response was? I'm a snake. That's what snakes do. So that was a warning from God. I'm telling you, if you're open, God is giving you warning as you're praying throughout the relationship. The next thing I asked for was a sign. I said, if we are not supposed to be married and it's not going anywhere, God won't leave you in the dark if you really want answers. Listen, I asked him to give me somebody somewhere to quote me the scripture, don't cast your pearls before swine. That's all I needed to hear. And two weeks later at the hair salon, while I was waiting for my next customer, one of the other hair salon's customer came over and chatted with me as she did frequently. And she said, are you okay? You've been really a burden on my heart for this last week. Every time I get ready to pray for you, this burden, real heavy burden hits me. And I said, uh, I'm okay, but why? What's up? She said, well, this is the scripture that comes to my mind. She says, it's the same one every time I feel like praying for you. And before I get started praying, the scripture just pounds on me. But I, I think I'm supposed to tell you. I said, yeah, tell me. And she says, don't cast your pearls before swine. Does that mean anything to you? And I said, got my answer. And I cut that man loose like he was a disease. And do you know what the Lord told me right after I cut him loose? He told me he will be married within seven days because he was not feeling for you what you felt for him. He was in survival mode. And he only needed, he was trying to ensure that you two would end up living together. He wanted a roof over his head. That's why he was pursuing you. You had a house, he didn't. So he was on shaky ground in the relationship he was in. And he was in between places to stay. And he was trying to get in good with you to have a roof over your head, over his head permanently and do you know i actually considered marrying him that's why i kept asking god do you know seven days later he called me and told me he had just got married goodness me survival mode and i it, i thank god so much for sparing me what could have been a horribly toxic and destructive relationship yes imagine i would have missed out on my husband who was a dream of a husband the one god ordained i would have missed out on this beautiful marriage that we had till he passed away three years ago i would have missed out on that because this man satan was using him to take up my time so i would miss out on that one a week later, my husband called me to date me. And the rest is history. Go on, Patricia. Praise God. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for having me, Sister Pat. Patricia, thank you so much. You're so welcome. Thank you for sharing. God bless you. And I hope you guys really listen. Because we are two women. She's 62. I'm 63. We've had enough experiences under our belt. We don't have to sit up here and lecture you. We're not getting paid to do it. We're not getting any kind of uh, feedback or, or anything from it. So this is for you to listen to. Stop being so hot-headed and hot-natured. Close your legs. Put your heart in God's hands, get your mind on the word, and get it off of men for right now. Get yourself together. You need to know who you are first. Amen. Amen. God will show you who you are if you take time with him and ask. Yes, he will. God bless you, Patricia. Is there anything you want to you. add to what I said? I think we've done enough damage tonight. <laughs> Okay. Well, God bless you, Patricia. And I really thank you so much. You guys, you pray. 
I'll get back with y'all in a minute.